Hello and welcome back to my series on recommended books in things that I know a bit about. <laughs> this week I'm going to talk about just two books. Um, see I've got four here but they are early editions and then later editions of the same books. So there's two publications here and uh, we're covering this week self-sufficiency and off-grid living. Now I've got loads of books on self-sufficiency one for example and I've got lots of books on gardening um, and lots of books on building now building will be covered in its own episode but the concept of sort of self-sufficiency as a whole and the lifestyle and the off-grid lifestyle there's just two that I'm going to recommend one of them is going to be obvious to anybody with any passing interest in the field. Um, I apologise ahead of time for the state of these books. They, um, I did have a nice copy but I gave it away. Complete Book of Self-Sufficiency by the legendary John Seymour. Self-Sufficiency then, John Seymour is the man that was there, well, well all throughout. I mean, he was doing it for a long, 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 long time, actually living the lifestyle and writing about it. Uh, I really like his books. And this one really is brilliant. So we've got, it's just stuffed full of information and ideas and various different ways of going about um, the lifestyle. This, for instance, this chart here, I still use today. <laughs> I use this a lot to, to plan out the, the um, winter plant out in the garden. We've got, so we've got food from the garden there, we've got food from animals, <laughs> how to milk a cow, uh, what else we got? In the back there's a whole section, all kinds of different skills, anything from um, how to build a wall, springs, pottery, spinning wool, and there's even a little bit on blacksmithing. So in the back here with all these various skills, it's, it obviously doesn't go into detail, I mean it would be an enormous book otherwise, but in the front here where we've got the food from animals, food from the land and all those sections it really does go into plenty of depth and a really interesting book just to delve into and uh, read through. Brilliant stuff and it's it's very pragmatically written so it's, it's full of practical advice and it's not prescriptive saying that this is what you need to do in order to live this lifestyle. There's lots of information here for instance if you've just got an allotment or even a just a small backyard garden in town right up to a five acre folding and a small farm. This is the later edition that we're flicking through at the moment. It's not hugely different to the original one, it's got colour illustrations which is nice and the layout's been tweaked somewhat and there's a, a bit of a mention of newfangled things like um, uh, solar panels and uh, high tech stuff like that. But even if you get hold of a second hand copy of the original edition it's still a very very useful book. What I'm really talking about this week is about um, inspiration and that's true of the other books. So the other book you'll have seen in my previous videos is the planning briefings and here's the very latest edition of that. Now full disclosure this was actually sent to me by the author. He saw my um, video where I talked about this one and very kindly posted me the latest edition. So this is the closest I've ever come to um, a sponsored video, I guess. But he's just sent it to me with no... Um, I didn't say I was going to review it. It's a bit light on pictures. <laughs> not, not, not much to show you really in here. Um, just full of interesting information. And uh, yeah, you have to read it for yourself really. I was chuffed to find um, a little mention of myself here in the uh, further reading section. That was, that was rather nice. It's a very good book. They both are. And they're both very good for the same reason to me, to my mind. And that is they are inspirational. So what I mean by that is when I was growing up and I 
left school and went into work and I was constantly told what I should be doing and of course I went along with it because I didn't know any better. I was never happy in what I was doing. I was working in an office in a call centre, um, talking to people about photocopiers day in day out and it just wasn't for me, <laughs> obviously. But I didn't know any better and there wasn't any there wasn't any body or anything that gave me uh, any inspiration to, to look out of that. I was unhappy with what I was doing, but I didn't see any way beyond it. And that's what's great about both of these books. There are an awful lot of books out there that will tell you how to do things, tell you how to improve your life, tell you this technique, that technique, tell you how to stop smoking, lose weight, get fit, blah, blah, blah. But there aren't that many that you can really read and believe in because the person that's written it is writing with conviction because they've they've done it they've made these things happen and that's the feeling I get from both of these books is a feeling of, of the possibilities of things not oh no it's gonna take this in order to live like that I'm gonna need this this and this when you read like this book it becomes clear that you can you can have a go like I did I couldn't you know really I, I would have liked to bought a farm and then lived on that but I was never going to be able to afford a farm I could barely afford the piece of wasteland that I bought but thanks to reading the planning briefings I knew I had a shot at making it happen making what I wanted happen from that piece of wasteland whereas the conventional wisdom would have been dead against that I suppose that's what I'm getting at. And they've, I get the same sort of sense from the John Seymour book as well. That if you want, it's very much, if you want to do it, here's the tools, now you can do it. And that's the same kind of thing. Both, the feeling that I get from both of these books is the same reason that I make a lot of my videos. And particularly the off-grid living videos in which I try and give people the tools that if they want to they can then take and they can make it happen for themselves in their own lives. So if I discuss my solar hot water for instance or the solar electric or <laughs> uh, coppicing a woodland any of these things I'm describing um, how it could be done if you wanted to do that. So that's giving people out there, giving you out there the tools in which to do it. And that's what I get from both of these. The um, planning briefings then I spoke about at length in my video in that subject. So I'm, I'm not, and it's an updated version of that in here. It has an extra chapter on Scotland. Um, some people have asked me what the rules are for Scotland. I have no idea. I still don't because I haven't read that chapter because it's not terribly relevant to me but it is in here now so that's that's great everything else has been updated um, and yeah really any questions that you have for me about planning I do refer you to this it is a cracking book and most importantly it's written in a readable way which is a huge skill in itself there's so much knowledge out there that because of the way it's presented it's very hard to consume and it, that's not the case with both of these both of these books you could sit down and read them and and I have done and for me that's 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 really important um, there are those out there that say that it's the information that matters so if you're watching a video on YouTube it's the information in that video that matters more than the way it's delivered but I don't think that's the case at all so these are accessible books is what I'm trying to say they're accessible and they are they have wisdom in them as well they are they're well written and well worth your time so again self-sufficiency by John Seymour and what is now called the rural planning handbook by Simon Fairley Pick of the weeks. And again, I apologise for the cover, <laughs> the state of my version of them. But there we go. Hope to see you on the next one. Cheers for now. Bye.